What's going on friends? Today we are going to take a look at one performance item that is often overlooked when it comes to your Harley Davidson and that is your suspension system. Getting your suspension system set up properly or even replaced with a new one, this is going to make your ride down the road a lot smoother and make your handling in the corners a whole lot better. Now if you've been riding Harley Davidsons for any length of time, it's no secret to you that they are not known for their suspension systems. Although the touring systems are pretty good, if you ride a Sportster, you know the suspension on those is absolutely awful. Now earlier model Dynas, the suspension was better but it wasn't great, and they did improve upon the suspension in the Dyna and the Sportster later on down the road. Now Softtails, Softtails are probably one of the best ones out there aside from the touring models, but for today, I didn't really feature any soft tail suspension systems because they're so expensive. Now, if you've looked into aftermarket suspension systems, you've probably got some sticker shock. Looking at Legends, just a basic set of shocks can run you eight, nine hundred dollars And that's not even with the remote reservoirs or if you want to go with Air Ride or anything fancy. So for today, we're going to start with looking at dialing in your existing suspension and if that isn't enough i'm going to show you guys some aftermarket rear suspension that you could change out yourself at home easily and the price isn't going to break the bank so guys before we get too far into today's video if you enjoy it please don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already now when it comes to your bike suspension you want to make sure you have that rear suspension set up for the weight that you're carrying on the motorcycle, including yourself, your passenger, and any luggage you put on the bike. And one of the best places to start to find those settings is going to be in your owner's manual. If you don't have an owner's manual, you'll just have to play with it, set it up, put some preload into it, which means basically putting more attention on the spring, and running down the road, and kind of finding out whether it's too hard, too soft, or if you're bottoming out, you need to put some more preload in it. If it's just riding too rough and it's like a rock, back it down a notch and see how it feels. But if you do have an owner's manual, you're in luck. Check in there and check what the factory recommends you should set your suspension at, given an estimated weight. And by doing that, you're gonna make sure that you're compensating for yourself, your passenger, and all your luggage with that one setting. And that's a good starting point. And then from that starting point, you can either add to it or back it off a little bit and try to find somewhere kind of in the middle there that you're happy and the bike feels good and it handles to you. Now, as you're probably aware of on Harleys, there is no adjustment on the front suspension. That's pretty much all done with the cartridge system and the forks and basically dampened by your fork oil. Now, a lot of guys have tried to put a heavier weight fork oil in the front, but oftentimes what they'll find is that a heavier weight really makes that front end way too harsh. That front end is going to be way too stiff with a heavier weight oil. It works for some people, but most cases you're going to find that it's going to be rock hard. Now, if you're at your wit's end with your suspension system, you've changed your fork oil, you've messed with the rear suspension with the limited adjustment that it does have, the only other option is to go ahead and look at some aftermarket suspension systems. Now, you've probably gotten some sticker shock if you've looked at Olin's, Legend's, uh, any of the other manufacturers out there, they're pretty pricey. Even just a basic set of decent shocks they usually want eight, nine hundred dollars for them. And Harley Davidson, they do offer aftermarket parts through Screaming Eagle, but they're not much better than what the aftermarket's offering as far as price. I'd definitely go with the aftermarket. That's going to be a better product, in my opinion. So let's say you need a new suspension system. Maybe you have an older Harley, the suspension's flat wore out in it, but you don't really want to spend a thousand dollars putting brand new rear suspension on this bike. You can rebuild the forks with a spring kit, get it respun, get a whole rebuild kit. Those aren't too bad, but when it comes to the rear suspension, they want an arm and a leg for a lot of these kits. Now, one of the best companies I've found out there that has really good prices on their suspension, and they're also high quality, and it's not going to break the bank with just a basic set of rear shocks. Now, I wouldn't recommend exactly going to eBay or Amazon and buying a universal shock and sticking it on your motorcycle. It'd probably work, it'd probably work for a little while, but with Progressive, you pay a little more, but you get a lot more. Plus, you get a good warranty, and one of these shock systems today I'm going to show you, you get a lifetime warranty on it as well. So the first set of shocks on the list today from Progressive is their 413 series. The 413 series is a very, very basic shock. There's not much to this. You do have five adjustment levels on it, but I will fair warn you, these are very, very tall. As you can see, 
these really set the bike up there. They're decent, they're not great, but they're very basic entry-level shocks. And these entry-level shocks are going to run you $320. That's a lot better than going to Amazon or eBay, paying 150 bucks and getting some that are relatively more or less junk. But the good thing about the 413s, they come in two colors. You can get these in either chrome or black. And these will be way better than whatever old suspension you got on there now that is completely worn out. But it is kind of hard to beat a one-year warranty for 320 bucks, Especially if you've got an older bike and you're not looking to put a whole lot of money in it. But the thing's just flat dangerous from the old wore out suspension. Now the next series on my list from Progressive is the 412 series. And these are going to run you about $345. And these I highly recommend if you have a Sportster with the older spring suspension in it. These are a much improved ride over that old stock Sportster suspension. Now the 413 series, these are nitrogen charged multi-valve shocks with five position adjustments. Now that's not a lot of adjustment, but using progressive rate springs, they do get pretty well and it is a much improved ride over any stock suspension on a Harley. Also the 412 series, these come in standard or heavy duty versions, so if you're going to be carrying a lot of weight or you got to ride with a passenger often, I'd always recommend going with the heavy duty spring. But at $345, you get a one year warranty and these shocks are leaps and bounds over the basic 413 series. Now also in the 412 series, they have their 412 Cruise series, which is the same features as the original 412 shock, but this gives you that lowered look, so you get the lowered look but you still get the ride and feel of having a standard height shock without sacrificing anything with the lowered look. Now the last shocks on my list today are the 430 series from Progressive. This is the last series of shocks before they start to get really expensive when we get into the eight, $900 range. But for $575, these are about the best ones out on the market you can get for the money. These 430 series shocks can be mounted in any position. You can mount them up, down, however you want that adjuster to be centered. These would be great for baggers because you can reach back there and get them adjusted. And the best part about the adjusters on these are they're toolless adjusters. Completely threaded adjuster, toolless operation, and plus you have all that thread there to make your adjustments. You're not locked into just five different positions. And the best part about these two for $575 these carry a lifetime warranty on them. So guys, I really hope this helped you out today. If you were at your wits end with your stock suspension system, or if you're riding a Sportster or a Dyna and you just got some crap shocks on there, and you went out looking for shocks and you got really discouraged when you looked at the price of some of these things, I hope this showed you that there are some high quality options out there from a reputable manufacturer. And yes, in my opinion, they are a little bit expensive, but it's a lot better than the other options out there as far as price, and you're still getting a good product. Like I mentioned, I really wouldn't recommend going out to Amazon or eBay and buying a pair of universal whatever shocks that you don't know where they came from, just for the simple fact that the suspension on your motorcycle is super important to your safety, your passenger safety, and also just your overall enjoyment running down the road. So guys, if you've been shopping for suspension and you've been discouraged by the prices out there, I hope showing these progressive shocks out there showed you there is some light at the end of the tunnel that isn't going to break the bank and you're still going to get a good system. But anyhow, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And guys, that is all I've got for you this week. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. You guys stay safe on the streets, get your suspension tuned in properly, and I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.